Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel and we are going to be talking further about using ChatGPT for change management in the case of uh, ERP implementations. We both just came from work, so if we're... Actually, I feel in it to win it, but I might be a bit sort of silly. You know what? I think we just had a day of difficult stakeholders. I was... Somebody looked at me in the shirt and they're just like, <laughs> nothing. I was, they're just like, oh, are you trying to be Lestat? And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to be somebody out of an Anne Rice novel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta, gotta be serious and straighten up here. Bosses in town. <laughs> we were just saying, you know, looking at change in comms management as it, you know, the practices evolve, companies mm -hmm. become much more nimble mm -hmm. and more cost conscious. For smaller initiatives, some of this work is going on to the responsibility of a program lead or a program manager. So it's ever more important to integrate as many tools as possible. Mm. So we were just talking, we thought, hey, can we build upon the stakeholder engagement matrix yeah. and build it out to create a change impact assessment? Yeah. A change impact assessment. These are one of the. It's one of the tools that are used so commonly in change management in uh, projects and whatnot. And so, yeah, we thought this would be a really cool episode uh, to show you guys how to do this via ChatGPT. So instead of two deliverables, it's one tactical and practical. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, are you gonna boil the ocean with that? <laughs> well, we'll deep dive after this session. Just mm -hmm. put that in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Based on the last video, you saw that we had uh, an engagement table, and what we've done is we have put that back into Excel. We've copied it and pasted it and put it um, into a third tab in our dummy data file set and put it as engagement table. Um, we did switch around some of the information in BPO employees and impacted employees. And just again, as a reminder that we are using dummy data. So if you are using ChatGPT for this mm -hmm. type of information or this, you know, this type of work, use an enterprise model and make sure that you confirm and conform to your organization compliance regulations. And as a reminder, uh, we're using ChatGPT for the code interpreter uh, option. So going into ChatGPT, we have uploaded our Excel file again that now includes the engagement table tab, and we've written this prompt. And as always, we will provide the, uh, the prompt in the description of this video so you can follow along. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and press go. Okay, so that took us just over two minutes to generate the table. Now, if we're honest, ChatGPT did tell us that we didn't format our Excel as nicely. We had some columns and rows, so they keep it honest and real, but hey, they've cleaned up our um, Excel spreadsheet and generated us this nice baseline change impact assessment in two and a half minutes about. Okay, so I know that this is a lot to read and digest. I'm gonna go ahead and I will place this into Excel. Um, and then, yeah, let's get the master to take a, take a look at it. I'm seeing a few issues, but you know what? It looks like a good baseline to start. Cool, let's take a look. Okay, so if we look at BPO employees, if I'm looking at G15, project manager is not the right person to liaise with this group. It should mm. be the manager of those employees within the third party group. But yes, of course, the project manager would need to have good relationships with the managers of those employees to help through through the transition. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, I think it gives a really good basic overview. It's not going to give us the depth that we'd actually need to truly understand the nuances with this mm. change for example maybe this uh, bpo organization has never used sap so we would have probably a lot more impacts around you know potentially process but also tech impacts that we'd mm. want to be a bit more detailed on mm -hmm. um if i look below though all the way down to steerco i think they do you know a pretty good uh, overview um you know project sponsor will liaise with them a lot Probably the executives or an executive's already part of the Steerco, so that might not be the relationship owner. Um, but in general, I think it gives, again, very basic, decent um, oversight. How do you think that people can use this, this output? Is this something nice that you would want to then 
you know, make sure that there's no holes. I would yeah. start here. Yeah. Just to, you know, cut down on the amount of time, you know, time typing, formatting, etc. It's a good think through. It might open your, your brain to additional ideas and thoughts. So mm-hmm. I would definitely use this as a starting point. Clean it up, refine it based on experience, and then go into my change impact assessment um, interviews with subject matter experts and other nice. core team members. So, next steps. Is there anything that we want to do further with this information? Well, I think after you know we clean it up, we go do the detailed impact assessment, do our interviews, follow our normal process. What we could potentially do is ask ChatGPT to synthesize the information and create a very simple overview table for a senior leader. So mm-hmm. we could take our mental map of a, you know our stakeholder map up to the senior leader and say, hey, these are our most impacted stakeholder groups, and then we could also come to them with um, a very simplified view of what the key change impacts, challenges, and countermeasures are. To synthesize this information, let's go ahead and let's go back to ChatGPT and just put in this simple prompt. Please synthesize the information in this table into a simplified one slide for an executive. Sound good? Sounds good. And just keeping in mind, again, we would have much more detail. We'd have more detailed scoring in a usual change impact assessment. Mm. We'd be assigning, you know, maybe based on a score, maybe a scale of 1 to 10, we would give low, medium, high, and we would eventually want to see some heat mapping in the change. But given the nature of this video, we'll just see how good ChatGPT is at now synthesizing information. Yeah, nice. Okay, so it has provided the file. Let's go ahead. Let's download it and see what comes of it. I hope it read my mind. I want it to be very <laughs> visual. It's coming in chat GPT four, five, six. Uh, maybe six. We'll say six and a half. Okay. Well, I don't know that we can put this in front of the CEO. <laughs> maybe 30 years ago? We are not in Kansas anymore. No. So I think that what we have to do is, uh, with this beauty, is perhaps refine our prompt just to say, uh, can you synthesize this information and put it in like three bullet points, four bullet points? Okay, so let's go back and let's revi- let's revise this prompt. So um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, go up to the original prompt and I'm gonna go ahead and press edit and then let's edit this. So please synthesize the information in this table into a, a simplified one slide for an executive. Use three bullet points max and only one slide only one slide and make it visual is that possible no (laughs) we'll try we will try let's try i want a cherry on top of this ice cream sundae today Mm -hmm. but how do you what sort of visual do you want i want it to be creative like what though i get asked this question all the time from clients make it visual (laughs) <laughs> okay, let's do it. And make it visual. And I have a feeling that it will be like, cannot compute error, Dave. Okay, so let's try the second attempt. Okay. Drum roll. Read my Da-da-da-da. mind, read my mind. Read the CEO's mind. <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on this? You know what? I've done better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe version six. We're not quite there yet. So, you know, maybe we could try to refine in prompts, but, you know, at least we get a good <laughs> overview to start with. Yep. And, you know, we still ha- we're still we still in demand. Consultants are still in demand. This, yep. <laughs> Don't worry. Chat GPT 4 will not be taking your job. This is our... This is, we need to, we need to contact the Reichs Museum or Stabler. Okay, well, you know what? I feel like maybe ChatGPT is, you know, is dialing in after work as well. Yeah, you know, um, not quite there yet, but I think at least on some of the analysis side, getting um, Excel sheets up and running, hey, does a decent baseline, gives us some thinking to start from. Um, but I'll look forward to future releases of ChatGPT because I think mm. we are headed in that direction. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. So with all this said and done, where are we headed next? Well, change impact assessment is typically the heartbeat of uh, change management. After we've completed the change impact assessment, we can really further flesh out our detailed 
change intervention, communication, and uh, training needs and plans. So nice. we should head there next. Oh, my favorite. Cool. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video and have a great day. Bye. Now we were talking during um, becoming more nimble. We were talking. Uh, we were talking earlier today about. <laughs>